All right, some quick headlines for this Tuesday morning. The U.S. House is expected to overwhelmingly approve a new bill today, toughening sanctions on Iran, North Korea, and Russia. The bipartisan measure specifically aims to punish Russia for alleged interference in our 2016 election. It would also block the president's ability to roll back those sanctions without getting an okay from Congress. Meanwhile, House Democrats accused of playing politics with our national security, the party blocking an intel policy bill, saying Republicans were trying to push it through too quickly. The measure supports critical national security programs like things for counterterrorism and cyber attacks. All right, Mr. Henry. Thanks, Steve. To you. The ranking member of the House Intel Committee, Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, has a lot to say about, yes, Russia. The president is clearly worried uh, that Bob Mueller is going to be looking into uh, allegations, for example, that the Russians may have laundered money through the Trump organization. Uh, that is really something, in my opinion, he needs to look at because uh, what concerns me the most is anything that could be held over the president's head that could influence U.S. policy. That would be uh, among the most powerful form of compromise. Uh, so I think it is something he needs to look at. Congressman Schiff, and we checked the numbers, he's done at least 99 national TV interviews since the president took office, many of them focused on Russia. So are Democrats trying to influence the quote-unquote independent investigation they demanded here to debate? Democratic strategist Michael Starr Hopkins and Bold.Global founder Carrie Sheffield. Good morning to both of you. And I wonder, uh, Michael, how in the world can Congressman Schiff, first of all, when you, you hear that sound bite, let's focus on the substance of what he actually said. He throws out there in one of the interviews, the Trump organization may have may have laundered money from the Russians. Isn't that a bit extreme? No, I mean, I think when we look at the Trump uh, the Trump company and where they've spent their money, the properties that they've purchased, there is a decent chance that they have. Whoa, whoa, uh, I, I'm money. sorry, I don't, I'm going to give you a chance. There's a decent chance that they laundered money? How do you back that up? It's easy. When you look at the properties that they've bought, you look at the relationships that they've had. Donald Trump bought a piece of property in southern Florida from someone who has ties to money laundering in Russia. That property was then doubled in value two years later. But, like, let's look. That Most means that the whole or Trump organization was laundering money. That's not what I said. Crimes. That's not what I said. But I said you said that there was a, a very chance. good. Before that, you no, said there's said a there very a good chance that they were involved chance. in money laundering. And you told me about one real estate transaction. You asked me how I thought or why I thought that there was a decent chance. I told you. But let's look at the crux of this investigation. But there's itself. no evidence here. For the last six months, Donald Trump has woken up every morning and gone to bed every night tweeting about this investigation. Right. It's not Democrats who keep bringing it up. It's Democrats who respond to it. We have a president who's not only incompetent, but is inept at doing the basic functions of his job, which is being presidential. Instead, he wants to tweet about a Russian investigation. He wants to attack his own AG. He wants to fire an AG. Why don't we have Donald Trump just be president, represent all Americans? I'm sure that's what Kerry would want. All right, let's get Kerry in here because I asked you several questions. Kerry, what do you think about Adam Schiff? Uh, is he just making, trying to make a name of him, uh, you know, for himself uh, off of this? I mean, 99 interviews seems like a, a bit extreme. You can see that. Uh, runs a gambit, including some interviews, yes, in full disclosure, right here on Fox News. He's a prominent member of Congress. He's entitled uh, to give his opinions, but 99 interviews, almost all of them about Russia. Sure. Adam Schiff basically embodies the delusion of the resistance. You just heard Michael throwing a Rachel Maddow conspiracy theory up in the air as if it was nothing. Democracy is not your plaything. Democracy is not your plaything. You cannot undermine the constitutional right to due process. You cannot undermine the constitutional electoral college, which says that Donald Trump won free and fair. That's what this is ultimately about. The one thing I will agree with Michael on is that President Trump, you have to move past the haters. The resistance is motivated by hate. That's why I'm here in Washington. There's a member of Congress who has been lying in a hospital bed because people hate him. People hate the president. And we Scalise, need to move yeah. past. Yes, exactly. We need to move. The only way, as Martin Luther King said, that you move past hate is through love. And that's what President Martin Trump Luther King, hold on. It, it, that, the idea that you would even mention Martin Luther King while talking about Donald Trump and this Republican Party, I just I can't sit by and not comment on that. This Republican Party used to actually stand for inclusiveness and trying to bring the country together. But that's not the Republican Party that we're seeing now. There are very good this members Republican of the Republican Party. Party has been pushing let's, let's back against 
Barack Obama was the one who sowed the seeds of division in this country. And the Donald only Trump way said that, that he wasn't that, born in this country. Absolutely. Come on. Look, I agree the birther thing. President Trump put that past him. Thank goodness. I agree it was wrong for him to do that. But the reality is now it's the Democrats who are full of hate. It is the resistance that is motivated by hate. And Michael, if you want to make some good in this country, stop your resistance from being full of hate. All right. There's no hate here. Carrie? <laughs> Michael, you just called the president incompetent, and you suggested he may have broken the law with money that's, laundering. That's, that's a not critique. Hate. That's not hate. <laughs> that's critique, incompetent. Okay, thanks, Michael. Carrie, Thank appreciate you. it. <laughs> thanks, Next guys. on the rundown is Newt.